as I hurt myself, everyone gets hurt. It may seem to start small by making yourself feel unworthy, but then that feeling grows because you project your pain outward to someone else. And then they receive that pain and they want to cause you hurt in return because they're feeling pain. Or they absorb that pain and they hurt themselves. As I hurt myself, everyone gets hurt. As I hurt myself, everyone gets hurt. There's a storm that we create inside of ourselves. If we don't address that storm and heal it in love, we project that storm outward as pain to others. The others absorb that. It contributes to the storm within them. A storm that keeps brewing and brewing, causing more pain and more destruction making it even harder and harder to rebuild and recreate. As I hurt myself, I hurt everyone. But the more, the more, the more we contribute to a world of pain and not peace, the world that starts from within us, the more, the more, the more, our pain is what creates this world. And we've seen a world of pain for far too long. It's destructive. It's horrifying. And it's completely unnecessary. As I hurt myself, I hurt everyone. So the solution is to turn the hurt around and to allow ourselves to love ourselves. As I own my worth, there's a flow and effect of this too. Others begin to see what's possible in themselves as well. And they begin to contemplate and fathom the idea that they could possibly achieve similar things, given some restructuring internally. And so interestingly, you owning your worth can show people what worth they can to own in themselves. And the crazy thing about everyone owning their worth is that we all fit together perfectly. And if we all completely own exactly who we are, well then, we do have a place of harmony.